There is no disease that is incurable. The sooner we understand that, the better. Let's get healthy. Did you know of the man who cured hair loss but then was mysteriously taken from us by the government? His name is Dr. Sebi, and he found a way to heal the scalp and grow back your hair fast naturally. He found this secret power plant in Honduras, and it was used by many to heal and remineralize the scalp to grow back hair and will help men struggling to grow their beard that are unable to grow one. So now you may ask me, what is this secret power plant? It is called Awaken Sup's Natural Honduran Batana Oil. This oil is so powerful that the hair loss industry has been trying to take it off the market to promote their products and make money off you. You see, most people will just resort to getting a hair transplant as they don't know about batana oil and how powerful it really is. And that is why the hair loss industry has been trying to ban it and take it away from the public as they hate it, when people find natural alternatives that actually work. That's fucking creepy. Hey, uh, the end of the world is coming. I'm telling you, bro. Wait a Halo second. Sent me the storm On my phone, look. You can see a black dot up there. Hmm. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, that's UFO. a UFO. <laughs> Dude. It just disappeared. It just disappeared. What the fuck? discover a new species lurking in the depths of the southern ocean this is the antarctic strawberry feather star weird looking thing isn't it uh, researchers describe it as uh, pretty large with 20 arms branching off of its strawberry like body lives in waters 200 to 3,000 feet deep scientists published their findings in the invertebrate systematics journal which is great reading, by the way, if you get some downtime. They say that they have been on uh, several research expeditions since 2008. What a weird looking thing that is. What the fuck? Bitch, what? Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? Listen, I'm not a crazy conspiracy theorist, but that is the sun going down over there. Am I, am I correct about that? Now look at this. Directly behind me. What is that? I'm not a flat earther by any means, but that and that can't both be the sun. So what the hell is happening? There's nothing moving behind those clouds. It's just a big bright ball. That's, that's the sun going down in the west by the ocean. So what the fuck? Y'all gonna hate me for this. But I gotta tell y'all. Did you know that your phone, your TV, your computer, your electronics, everything is having conversations with you? Not just these people. I'm put to you like this. The word con means to convince somebody something. The word verse means to give it to them in a few words in the word sation means to make them feel something so if you put that all together 
did you understand that everything in this world is trying to change your state of mind by convincing you to do something by which you hear or see or feel? Life Why is a is video it that game. No one cares that we can see everything and everyone else in first person point of view, but we can't see ourselves in first person point of view. The same way that we can see everything else in first person point of view. It kind of freaks me out. It kind of gives me heebie jeebies if you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's like, why can't I see myself unless I look at my reflection? That means that everything else that we see outside of us isn't real. And the only time that we can actually see a real reflection is if we reflect on our own thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And that's internal. So, is anything that we do see external real? You ready, player one? This giant iceberg just showed up in Canada. The iceberg is estimated to be as large as London. Off the coast of Newfoundland, it was washed up overnight. It seems to have detached from a bigger iceberg near Greenland in the ocean and has been drifting freely ever since. But no one knows exactly where it comes from. The huge iceberg floats in the iceberg alley where the Titanic sank.